So, first of all, Patrick, thank you so much for your time, for being here with us, because I really, I have no doubt, everybody wants to know how is to manage a school like Le Cordon Bleu outside of France. I think it's a huge challenge. What do you think is the biggest challenge to make the implantation of the school here in Brazil, for example? Yes, it's a challenge because you have, we have uh, from Paris and London today, we have an, inter it's a, it's an international corporate in terms of academic, techniques, everything is coming from here. So we call it the Cordon Bleu International. And we are following whatever we go in the world. It could be in Australia, it could be in Tokyo, in Japan, it could be in Brazil, in Mexico. We are following the same programs, the same methodology. All around the world. All around the, the world. Same All program. around the world. What, what we have to understand is Cordon Bleu, at the beginning, was really a school for uh, foreigners. It was not known in Paris, in France. It was more for people coming from outside, from Russian people was in 1907, so for Japanese was coming in 1905. So it was more a school of etiquette, etiquette that uh, cooking school. It was just for the uh, person of the world to, 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 to know a little bit of cuisine as they could know about music, etc. So it was, uh, at, this time, at this time, it was an education, okay. educational for part of the society. The challenge is, uh, is, is, is when, you know, when we go outside of our own country, it's always a challenge, and you know that because you are traveling a lot, yes. to adapt to a culture. So we have to, have to adapt Asia culture, Latin American culture, <coughs> Anglo-Saxon uh, culture. So it's, it's a challenge, but at the end of the day, when, when, you, when you have all these tools, uh, the material from the Cordon Bleu, from the academic part, from the technologic part, uh, tech, uh, technical part, well, it's not, it's, not, it's not an easy going, I don't want to tell you it's an easy going, but at least you have the super basis, super manuals, super chart to set up in place and to continue to make a follow up to keep the quality. What we are looking for at the Cordon Bleu, uh, we are one of the best, okay, but, but, we are, but you know, even one of the best, we have always to, to put in, in question, to always to be uh, humble and to ha have this type of politic to keep the standard of quality by training the people. I think it's a sign of youth and modernity. You are always keeping up with what is happening around the society. So you have a very traditional school mm -hmm. teaching the very traditional French techniques mm -hmm. of cooking. Yeah. And you are going all around the world and growing. So you are adapting yourself as a methodology mm -hmm. to keep up with the new media, whatever. So it's, it's very interesting as a mentality, as a group. It's very interesting because you are doing all of this yes. without losing your root, your personality, your, 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 your soul. <laughs> the soul. Yes. Yeah, L'âme, le cordon bleu. Yes, <coughs> this is very nice. No, no, yes, thank you very much. The thing is, the, well, let's say we, we, are, we are, of course, as you know, we have some codification in cuisine, okay, in vocational, in terms of, uh, and I was talking about Escoffier. Escoffier was the first French guy, uh, chef, to, to be, uh, to be very clever, to make this codification in, in, under a, in a book called Guide Culinaire, uh, Guia Culinario in, 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 uh, in Spanish or Portuguese. And here you have all the techniques, the recipes, etc., making part, making the, the patrimony of French cuisine, okay? And, and, and by that, we could uh, worldwide be known and respected uh, with this type of uh, books and techniques. But now, what we have to consider, okay? We, Cordon Bleu is very traditional, very uh, classical when the basic, and you know that. Intermediate uh, level is more regional, but also more recipes, very difficult to, with some technical techniques, and superior is another level because we are giving the opportunity for the students in each of the country to work with their products, but to be creative and to make a, a specific recipe and personal recipes. So, so the Cordon Bleu somewhere is, is making an intensive apprenticeship for students in, uh, at the Cordon Bleu for any programs, not only BIS but also Cordon Tech, <coughs> to be able to go in the market if they want and get, become chef or sous chef or chef uh, uh, quicker than anybody else because they have all the tools to carry out. Now, tradition doesn't mean conservatism, okay? Yes. 
And that's the cordon bleu. And again, well, uh, with the leadership of Monsieur Cointreau, we had the opportunity, we have the opportunity, we had and have the opportunity to, to grow in another spirit. Another spirit means adaptation to the new trends, <coughs> adaptation to the new society. Let's see, like, imagine 1895, nouvelle cuisine. Uh, after that, we had the, um, the cuisine from Hervétis. Uh, I mean, uh, and now we have the new trends with susceptibility, with uh, uh, no gluten, gluten, etc. So Cordon Bleu is completely following that. We, uh, to, uh, in uh, in uh, months of uh, October, we are opening a plant-based program of 380 hours, corresponding to all this type of uh, need of the people, need of the society. Because when you see the history of cuisine, uh, you, you see all the evolution of the cuisine, but the evolution of the cuisine is done also with the evolution of the society. When you want to be a chef today, you have to, you have to, uh, but you have to cook, of course. You have to be good, but it's not only that. Today, it's just a part, the best part, but it's a part. You have to be a leader. You have to know how to speak with the people. You have to speak several languages. You have to know uh, to make accounting. You have to, to know how writing, to make a menu, to speak in front of uh, influencers, journalists, uh, to speak uh, in front of uh, general managers. What does it take? to be a good chef. You have an amazing experience. Are you able to look at someone and say, this is a talent? Oh yeah, in terms of technically speaking, yes, it's a talent, but in attitude, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> you know, you know it's, it's, today we are in a, in a, in a society where every, everything is sensible. So we have to be very careful. And, and uh, attitude for me, and uh, all my life is maybe it's my education, but uh, respect, attitude, civism are, are key words for, for us to live in a society and worldwide. I'm not only talking in France or Brazil, I'm talking about everywhere in the world. So it's a, and, and this type of thing has to reflect in a, in a chef profile for this guy to be a leader, but a good leader. You could be a leader to yelling after the people, but you have to be a leader respecting everyone and trying to make the best. At the same time, to be a leader to, to get the results, because today the results are very important. So yes. to get the results you need. Worldwide, you have a very interesting cuisine. Here in Brazil, we, 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 uh, the, the last program we did uh, one year ago is a diploma of Brazilian cuisine. Why? When the Cordon Bleu is going somewhere in a country and you have a lot of culinary, uh, let's say, uh, roots in this country, like in Brazil and in Mexico, like in Thailand, in Korea, and uh, in, well, in Italy, in Spain, we are making a diploma of the uh, food, I mean, of the, of the art, culinary art of the country. So here we did the same thing as a diploma from Brazilian cuisine. So we have a three months basic, like in a, for the diploma, <coughs> to learn, I mean, to respect, that's very important, to respect the identity of the country, the products of the country, the techniques of the country, uh, the region of Brazil, because you are so rich in terms of products and, uh, and talents here in, in Brazil, it's amazing and it's very good. An intermediary is making some recipes, like uh, bon, I will take the standard feijoada okay. to, to, make, to make something uh, as a cordon bleu way, if I can say so. And after that, in superior, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a mixing, you know, it's a fusion between uh, French uh, art and Brazilian uh, talents, cuisine, products, presentation, technology, etc. So, so here we have uh, the, the last uh, diploma of uh, uh, country uh, we did here is the Brazil. So it's the last one we did in the Cordon Bleu and before we, uh, we met uh, Japanese, uh, Japanese, Thailandese, etc. And even in Japan, the Japanese government recognizes the Cordon Bleu as a teacher of Japanese cuisine. And, and if you know amazing. Japanese know, guys, they are, they are somewhere very conservative and protective in terms of their culture. But I think the Cordon Bleu made a, a very good uh, work because they give the confidence to the Cordon Bleu chef to be accredited by the Japanese government to deliver a program of uh, Japanese cuisine. So. so, logistically speaking, because I really wanted to ask you about this, what is the hardest thing to manage a school like this one here in Sao Paulo? Products, uh, people, what is the most difficult thing? 
and the most? Let's speak about challenge. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, challenging? No, we have challenge uh, well, in Brazil. What is the challenge? Challenge is yes, to, well, first of all, to understand the culture. Uh, understand the need of the new society because we are really in a worldwide in a, in a big big change big move uh, respecting our roots and uh, and, uh, and fundamentals at the same time adapting to to yes to the to the human beings so human beings sometimes well, you know it's not an easy going to understand a, a system and it's, if it's a system coming from outside of the country and Brazil in particular, it's something that people have to, to, to understand and absorb. Uh, we are talking also about uh, technology education and culinary education, so it's even another uh, step to pass. So what we have to do is, uh, in the worldwide, is not only in Brazil, but is make, to make a training, to make a very strong training. To do the best with to, what you have. To do the best with what we have. It's uh, what we are looking for, is to, for the new generation of chefs at Le Cordon Bleu, to be Brazilian, like Paolo, and to, to, to grow with us, to be trained and grow with us. Because when, when the chefs are growing with us, they, they, they are taking, uh, acquiring the spirit of Le Cordon Bleu. Le Cordon Bleu, it's, it's, a, it's a full educational uh, system, but uh, bringing more than, uh, than education. It's bringing a, a dream, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's bringing a lot of expertise for the... You are going to fulfill all the aspects exactly. of this education. Exactly. So, so challenge are here. Challenge is, uh, I mean, it's a daily basis challenge. It's, it's not a challenge uh, three months, six months, no. It's a daily basis challenges that we need to, uh, to cover if we want for Le Cordon Bleu to keep the same value not in terms of uh, value by the name. For, for me, the name is important, but value by what we are delivering, respecting our students. Because our students, at the end of the day, are the best ambassador. It's, it's a, and if we are wrong with one student, we have a problem. So that's why we are trying to make the best. To, to and there is this. always something else to learn. As more I know, as more I study, more I think that I know anything about it, you yeah. know? Because there is always another way to do it, there is always a different technique, there is always something new that I have to, that I have to learn or that I tried in a different way. So it's so interesting regarding cooking. Everything regarding cooking is endless knowledge. Yeah, because you are always going to teach me something, I can teach you something, regardless the level you are. More I go in my life, and more I know that I, I yes. don't know anything. Food is something, but you have wine. From, from culinary, you, you, can, you can open a, You a can food. approach so no, many. No, no, you, you approach all the world. You approach by wine, you approach by, uh, by culture, how the people are eating, how they do to eat, etc. So it's, it's, it's more... Food is not, it's not on, on, only being a kid in a cuisine, in a kitchen to, to have techniques or recipes. It's, it's more than that. It's, for, for me, it's the spirit of life. Uh, giving the opportunity not only to meet with people but to understand what's going on and to, to get to know about the people as well in a kitchen you depend on so many other things other than just you yes of so course yes, yes. if you are not co-oping with everybody you, uh, something is going to go wrong at a certain point you know? uh, exactly so so uh, so your know, cuisine again you have a lot of reason to to, <laughs> to make culinary arts and I would like to add something about uh, well, Cordon Bleu because we, Cordon Bleu is not only vocational. Okay, vocational is because 1895, but for the last uh, 35 years, uh, uh, Cordon Bleu developed programs for business management in culinary arts and gastronomy for our students to get the chance and the opportunity not only to, to make uh, or to cook or to make some good food or pastry, boulangerie or whatever but also to be able to manage a business okay. or to be in a position in hotels as a food and beverage manager, general manager, or to open their own business or to manage a, a lease, etc. for in restaurants and uh, catering or hotels. And we are, so we are delivering some bachelor degree, some uh, MBA, some master degree, postgraduate, uh, postgraduate uh, programs and, uh, in uh, all the world. And uh, we will be beginning next year in, uh, with Anima all around Brazil. How do you manage to be traveling a lot the way you do? Is it hard? Because you're not doing this for a year. You were doing this for a while now. Yes. So well, how do you manage? I was doing because now I'm, I'm uh, based in Brazil because Brazil is... Uh, 
I think it's very, very uh, important country to develop and uh, all those projects I'm talking about with uh, the school, uh, keeping as the right consistency, all this type of extension to grow, plus uh, the animal. But before, uh, years ago, yes, I was traveling a lot uh, around uh, the world uh, to, to develop and to be ambassador of Le Cordon Bleu to, to open schools and, and to be also in a field to open the schools. Imagine uh, coming from uh, uh, not a family of uh, cook or chef, no? uh, having this type of opportunity to, to work with uh, Cordon and Monsieur Cointreau, uh, to be uh, very close, uh, it was something that you cannot buy. You, know? so you, can, you, can, you, you don't buy this type of experience. Food, again, culinary, uh, arts is, is, is more than recipes, yeah. uh, techniques, etc. It's, uh, it's this type of message that we, we try to, to pass and with a different uh, profile of chef we have here. Uh, I mean, here and in other countries, uh, as you said, the experience is different. You can have the standard basics and, and one people will take another way to do it in the fastest way or one other in a maybe longest way, but you have a better result. So our students at the end of the day, they have to choose the best way they, they took by the expertise of the chef to reproduce when they are going out of the school. Alors, Cordon Bleu for me, it's uh, the opening Uh, vocational culinary art and business management everywhere in the world for the people or students who want to get a success.